Hi, team. Everyone, we're going to do have a quick video today. It's about adding a controller to an existing connection. Actually, we have a connection there. It has one controller, it's a KT1. And we are adding one, I mean, more controller. All right. Now, of course, we have the hardware part and we have the software part. Let's see. For the hardware part, will be more. Uh, let me see. Will be. We'll need to verify and confirm how to get the wiring right. Okay. Let's say since we have a KT one, it could be a KT one. You know, a regular KT one. Okay. So remember, we need uh, X plus X minus. If the entire connection is with KT1, KT2, I mean, by that, I mean uh, KT1, KT2, KT8, if we have those controllers, we can um, just go with two cable, X plus X minus, because all of those controllers, they are DC powered. But if we have in that connection, other controller, AC, for example, KT300, KT400, you have to go with the ground, please. All right? And when we have doubt, and maybe, uh, you know, in afterward, we're going to have controller, adding controller, and that can be AC controller, it's better to have your wiring ready with three cable. That's going to be X plus, X minus, and the ground for that model of controller. And we can see, for example, uh, let's see, the KT, the other KT1. This KT1, which um, come with the PCB additional board, you have the X plus, X minus, but you also have the ground. So just to make sure you don't have any communication issue, whether it's now, even if you have everything in DC or afterward, you can you should go with three cable, X plus, X minus, and the ground. Now, should go, should not. This is only when we're talking about the DC <laughs> powered controller. Now, for the KT300, the KT400, there is no if you have to go with three cable. All right, uh, let's see if we zoom this a little. Okay, so we have the X plus X minus, and in the KT400, you're gonna go with the negative of the X, as you can see there. Let me see if we get that bigger. All right. So I'm hoping that we clear on how to get your communication. Okay. Now, this being said, you have your KT1 or KT400, you have your first controller, then you're adding the other controller and so on and so on. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the example for, by, uh, while we're adding one controller, All right, software-wise, so we have our controller, we, you add your second controller, get your wiring right. Then you're going to first need to update the connection because the connection, you had it with one controller or X quantity of controller. Now, since you're going to add one, you need to raise that quantity to one more. So we had one, we switch it to two, then we save. Once we do that, you know, we could go devices, controller, or right away from that screen, you have an icon there for controller. So I click on controller. It will show me the controller of that connection. So I had the first controller. And actually, I really don't like to have controller one controller. So let's see, that's when it's a KT1 over IP. Right? So. I have the second controller, let's say it's a KT300, for example, first, you need to come here and select the, con the, 
That's the first thing to do, please. Then you got the name of the controller. Let's see, that's the KC300 and uh, um, Right, then you're going to add the serial number of the controller. Okay, and then you move on with your programming. You know, you already know the express setup, you know. <laughs> Sorry for that. So you're good to go. That's how you add. All right, so first, a quick review. Um, let's see, I'm going to... Review with you first, make sure you have your iron white. Okay, so here we have all the options. For example, if we have a KT1 as first controller or KT400 as the first controller, whatever you have as first controller, then you need to wire, you know, keep adding controller. In that case, we took an example of that's the KT400. So I, it's whether it's KT1, KT2, KT400 you always use COM1 for communication. COM1, please. So X plus X minus and the ground. So based on what which controller you have, for KT400, you see that's the aux negative. Then this one is the KT300 or 315. So you have X plus X minus X plus. You have the ground. That's the weeder ground. The same ground where you connect your weeder. It's the same one you use for the weeder cable, I mean ground, that's the one for the communication. I bring your attention to that because there is the, you know, the electrical ground. Now, uh, after that, for example, if you keep going, if you're going to keep adding KT300, KT315, same principle, you get, you know, X plus to X plus, X minus to X minus, and the ground to ground. Okay, so if you go in, if you have a KT1, a regular KT1, you see where you get your COM1, of course, X plus, X minus, and the ground, you take the uh, negative for the uh, power, that's the one used for the ground. And if you happen to have the KT PCB, I think we're missing the KT2 there somewhere, but same principle, you're going to use COM1 and you have X plus X minus and the KT2 or the KT1 PCB, you have the ground, you know, um, there available. So right here. Then, so once you get your wire in white, you go on the programming, you go devices, connection, you select the connection, then you raise the quantity Okay, once you do that, for example, I just did the example, but now since I raise it one more, if I come here, I have one more. And it's not defined yet because I just, you know, now you, you first, once you select the controller, the new controller, you select the controller type first, 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 please. Uh, now, if by mistake you set it wrong, you will have to delete it. All right, for example, um, let's say I come here and that one was not the 300. So I will have to delete that as a new controller I'm setting up. Let's say this one is a um, 82, for example, because that can also be you know, an existing loop and you're adding in new, uh, new control. So if that's why I'm saying, once you select the controller, the first thing you need to do is to select the correct type. Then you can proceed, all right? Once you select the type, then you're going to add the serial information and so on. All right, I hope the video helped. And uh, I hope I answered the question to your question. I had that question. And uh, thank you. Thank you for your time.